The Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report with Dom and Charles. Hello Charles, how are you going? How are you feeling? Look Dom, I'm, I'm angry, I'm devastated. I think this day will go down in history. Really? Yes. In history? I think there needs to be, Dom, another Royal Commission. I'm, wow. I, in fact, I am using this podcast here today to call for a Royal Commission. That's very serious, very dramatic. We've had a few in recent years, a lot mm. of bombshells, the RoboDebt Royal Commission. Yep. You know, that sort of thing is... Uh, all Aged kinds of, care. Yeah. Um, child sex abuse in institutions. Many terrible things. Yes. Uh, this this is, is on the same level? Yeah. Oh, undoubtedly. On the weekend, Barnaby Joyce was filmed in a gutter along a Canberra street, they're just lying there. Mm. And there are so many questions that are unanswered 48 hours later now, Dom. We need a Royal Commission to actually work out exactly what was going on. Yeah, I know, I completely see the point. There are a lot of questions. So why don't we, until that inevitably happens, Mm. wildly speculate after this? (laughs) Okay, so the first one. Is somebody so somebody videoed? Uh, uh, you've seen the clip. Oh, of course, I've seen the Australia's clip. seen the clip. It's Lonsdale it's Street. It's eleven thirty p.m. on oh, Wednesday. It, it was in Melbourne. Wasn't no, no, Lonsdale Street. There was one in, oh, in Canberra, Canberra. Just copies the names of oh, other streets, right? There's a yeah. Sydney Street, isn't there? Right. Yeah. So it's on Lonsdale Street. He's on his back. Mm. He's on the phone. Apparently, yes. to, to to Daily Telegraph columnist and former staffer Vicky Campion. Um, yeah. He's what Mrs. Joyce now, yeah. pretty much. Mm. Just having a chat to his missus mm. while reclining as on you, the ground. As you do, in a gutter. That's, uh, when I ever want to call my wife, I go to the, head to the nearest gutter. I mean, you say in the gutter as though he was lying there drunkenly was, or it something. It was the gutter. He'd fallen off a planter box. You know how things go, what? Charles. You sit on a planter box. We all, we've all sat on planter boxes there to make no a call. There was no planter box nearby. This is what he says. He was on the planter box. What? And then the planter box sort of walked away. Well, it's if anything, it's gravity's fault. Gravity intervened in, a, right. in an unexpected manner. Yeah. And he just temporarily forgot gravity was, you know, a thing. And, the, and then and gravity stopped working. He and, was down and the, there. And the planter box just left the earth. And he, he put the call through. I mean, either he continued the call or he put it through. That's probably the first question to ask. No, well, no, no. The first question to ask, Dom, is how the fuck did whoever was recording the video... Why didn't they offer Barnaby Joyce a beer? Like, you can't pass... Barnaby Joyce in the street in Canberra and not offer him a beer. He was like he was not. There was no beer in his hands. Charles, it's possible that others during the course of the evening had already done that mandatory thing, and that oh. might have contributed to the situation. Wait a minute. So you're so you reckon he might have been drunk? Or I don't know. I don't know. Oh really? I'm just, I mean, I appreciate oh. it could have been in zero alcohol beer. Who knows? Let's listen to some of this uh, this footage. A video has emerged of the former deputy prime minister and nationals leader sprawled on a Canberra pavement. It was late. Wednesday night, he could be heard talking on his phone using colourful language. (laughs) Barnaby Joyce told Nine News he'd fallen off a planter box while chatting on his mobile. If I had known someone was there with a camera, I would have got up quicker, he told Nine News. Maybe some things simply defy explanation. So that's Channel 9 yeah. News. So, so the first question is, why didn't they offer him a beer? I would have thought that there would be some sort of law. That they were in power for nine years, mm. right? Yeah. Barnaby Joyce was Deputy Prime Minister for much of that. Much of that period, except for the whole impregnation thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would have thought it was law that if you pass Barnaby Joyce on the street, you offer him a beer. Yeah, it's the ACT. Yeah. So yeah. I think the law does say that you've got to offer him mm. uh, a beer or pornography or fireworks. I'm not sure yeah, which right. of them. Or marijuana. Or marijuana. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no, they've banned the pornography yeah. and the fireworks now, but the, yeah. the, the drugs have really gone. So when. Well, you know what they, they also offer in, in the ACT is a uh, really good paternity leave, but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh, That's already. Ha- yeah, look. Yeah. He's already needed that. <laughs> Used a few all times. that. Up. Uh, but, but the interesting thing is, so this has blown my mind when you suggested uh, just then that maybe he'd already had a drink. 
I mean, so it, I don't even right. know of what. I mean, yeah. I, mineral water, yeah, uh, turpentine, something yeah. between the two. <laughs> um, I mean, he doesn't mind yeah. a beer, does he? Just occasionally, oh, so, right? So that I mean, because I came in here going Royal Commission, yeah. You know, here's a guy in a gutter who, yeah. need, who needs a beer, yeah. And what you're saying is maybe he he'd already he'd already had it. He'd it, already it's, that, it's, right. It's okay. possible. I don't want to yeah. cast. No, yeah. I don't. I don't want to cast some sort of um, prejudiced view. I mean, yeah. just because he's his cheeks are often bright red. Yes, they are. That might be sunburn, mightn't it? It might be mm. sunburn. It might be an allergic reaction. It could be a lack of beer. It could be a lack of Well, it yeah. gets to a point, doesn't it, in, mm. in that situation where, yeah. Mm. Um, so there's another thing that's been mentioned here, Charles. That is another thing that the Royal Commission... I don't know if you're up to date on the latest excuses that have come down the pipeline. Uh, but as of Sunday night, the Herald reports, Joyce told several colleagues... He was uh, feeling the effects of medication, Charles, medication uh, mixing with alcohol. And I yes. don't know whether the medication is a prescription drug mm. or some people refer to alcohol as a form of medication. medication. <laughs> um, but there are certainly certain drinks. Yeah. I mean, if you're on hardcore painkillers, you don't go having booze. It says but, so on the label. But also, uh, like, just antibiotics. Remember, I remember mm. back in the day... And when neat, I, neat whiskey. Neat whiskey can also have similar <laughs> effect. It's a, so that, I love so it. So wait a minute. How is that an excuse? Like I was on lots of. Uh, I was on a cocktail of drugs. Yeah. So that makes it better. Like, but also, why? I what? This is why we need a royal commission because, like, the prime minister Anthony Albanese has come out and said that they. Ha- the coalition has to explain itself. Mm. But what 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 is there to explain? Like, surely the explanation should come from the government about why they weren't in a gutter, yeah. brawled out in a cocktail I mean, of drugs and, and alcohol. It makes me think. And Anthony Albanese's come out and he said, I'm quoting mm. here, this is what he said on Sunday, the Prime Minister, he said, people will also think to themselves, what would the response be if that was a minister in my government mm. being seen to be behaving in that way? Well, the, yes. the first point is, that different rules apply to Labor. That's been very clear no, for a long time. Definitely. But also, if that were um, if that were a member of Albo's government, mm. certainly at, an, at another period in the history of Labor, yes, you'd say why aren't they prime minister? Yes. Bob it, Hawk. Bob Hawk. Bob Hawk would have been if he had if he'd yes. seen Barnaby in that situation. Yes. In the unlikely event that Hawkey wasn't in the gutter beside him. Yes. He would have definitely a helped him up and b given him a beer. I mean, in some ways, what Barnaby Joyce was doing was very prime ministerial. It was very prominent. Yes. And uh, I mean, in some ways, do you think maybe it's on? Maybe oh, it is on. There's a there's a spill, and I'm not talking about Barnaby's drinks. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, he doesn't spill drink. To be fair to Joyce, never known to spill a drop. But Charles, but, there's a lot of people have been asking questions about Richard Miles's performance recently. Yes. I mean, there's there's some some issues in Labor. Mm. Anthony Albanese could. Yes. Easily tomorrow, appoint draft, Barnaby Joyce draft as Barnaby. deputy prime minister, yes. couldn't he? Yes, where he's meant to be, or, the one job where he gets enough money to be able to afford all of his children. Or, or is it is it more likely, given that you know he's in the coalition, that Peter Dutton is in trouble because Barnaby's gone? Peter Dutton, you know, can't land a punch against Albo. Yeah. I better get into the gutter because you know the Nads but, can actually rule as the minority in that coalition. Barnaby could Barnaby could land a punch and he can spike a punch too. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, the, so, well, this is an idea that that I think Albo should be considering. Is yeah. I mean, so, so yes, to head off the threat because obviously. It's one or the other, isn't it? Either Barnaby takes over from Peter Dutton as yeah. the leader of the opposition yeah. and storms home in the next election. Yeah. Or Albo drafts Barnaby now. We have a, co- a, a, a government of national coalition. National unity, yeah, yeah but behind it, having beers. Yeah. Because this is the thing when you think more about it, right? You don't need to get rid of Richard Miles, the sort of underperforming deputy prime minister. That's mm. You don't need to do that. What you need to no. do is, I mean, David Little Proud is the, le- the leader of that, so I couldn't tell you a thing about him. No. Except he was out there opposing the voice before Dutton. So, you yes. know, in many ways, he's the, the soul of the coalition. But he hasn't really. The one people know, as always, is Barnaby Joyce. He's the most famous politician on the right. Yeah. More famous than Dutton, I'd say. Get rid of Little Proud. Yes. Put Joyce back as the Nationals leader, where he belongs, the talisman of his party. Yes. And make the coalition Labour and the Nats. Yes. Labour and the Nats. It's Labor. a perfect marriage. Yes, it's a natural marriage. I've, liberals don't drink, do they? But and Labour and, and, the, and the Nats... 
love a beer. They can be the, the party of national boozing. And the other great thing is that Richard Miles could then swap over to the Libs, which would be far more naturally his home, <laughs> right, seeing okay. as he loves Orcus and everything. Loves Orcus. And he could take over from Dutton. And so he could be the leader the, the of the opposition. 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 Yeah, that's, yes. that's not a bad... It's, it's all looking pretty good. Yes. Look, more on this brilliant theory, I think, after this. I just need to go and get a beer. The Chaser Report. News a few days after it happens. Okay, so that's better. We've both got beers. Yep. Cheers. Chin chin. So which gutter should we hang out in tonight, Don? Oh, oh, this is the thing. It can be any gutter, but the, the nearest one's usually the best one. Cheers. Yes, that's what I've always said. And just especially if there's a planter box. Yes, nearby. that's right. Because because yeah. they're hard to look. It's hard to perch on the edge of a planter box. It's mm. not. It's not an armchair. It's not a sofa. Mm. You've got no, to have I some did, degree of control over your, your sort did, of motor functions to not fall off a planter box. I didn't see a planter box in the video. There's no. You, you've watched the video. I've watched the video like a hundred times. He's there's, he's rolled. He's done a tactical <laughs> roll. No, there is. Look, there's a planter box. It's a fair way away. From him, but it's got a sort of narrow yeah, edge. Okay. It's probably about an inch wide. The edge of that. No, it's quite low no to the physics. ground. Like, <laughs> imagine, it's quite low to the ground. Imagine it, to fall he'd, off. He'd have to. He'd have to roll. Yeah, like yeah. there's no. And his head's at the other end. I yeah. mean, have people checked for a head injury? Yes. This is. I really hope well, that the first day, because that could have really improved Barnaby's mental acuity if he managed yeah. to bump his head <laughs> quite hard. Well, I was going to say, if he's had a serious head injury, he hmm. might even be able to become leader of the opposition. Entirely yeah. possible. But what I like, Charles. Is I, I gather the timeline went, and this is what we need to. The, we really need a we police need royal reconstruction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need. I believe he was on the phone to Vicky. Yes. Probably making excuses about why he wasn't home yet. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, falls off the planet box, but keeps the call going, and that's what makes me think that he was compostmentous, despite the video, because right. he kept the excuse call going with his wife, yes. despite falling off the planet box. Yes. And he's he's pretending that he's all right. He's all right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, when he's probably clearly, saying he's far from all right. I'm just video. in a shadow cabinet. Vicky. Yeah, yeah. I'll be He's home. got a lot to work on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stage three tax cuts. <laughs> and I it's been said by many, but the person who filmed Barnaby Joyce in that position, rather than offering him a helping hand and checking if he was okay, he just went straight or to the phone. Offering him a beer, offering which is beer. clearly what he needed. That person needs to work for us because we need that sort of viral content. <laughs> <laughs> viral content we've already yeah. there for the insensitivity and the yeah. lack of humanity. No. But the the eye for viral content is very good. I, w- I was a little bit disturbed at how little he lingered on Barnaby Joyce, the, the mm. person who videoed it. Like, yeah. I think he should have just really zoomed in. He should have interviewed him, shouldn't he? <laughs> he should have. And if it was a chaser stunt, we would, yes. have, we would have just stopped rolling. Well, see, I think this is what, because it's always been hard to get Barnaby for chasers. Stuff, yeah, it has been. He tends to sort of uh, rage off in a, in a sort of thing. But also, you can't find him. It's very hard to find. And the, well, the car Maybe goes, the to... car pulls up straight outside the pub, doesn't it? He just goes yeah. straight in there. Yeah, that's right. But, but I think, our mistake has been that we look at eye level. We, <laughs> we don't go to the, we also we don't <laughs> we don't stalk the planter boxes in Canberra. <laughs> but this is the most interesting thing that's happened in Canberra for years. And this is the thing: oh, yeah. Barnaby is a headline machine. Yeah. The number is, I mean, this is just scandal number fifty-two or something like. Yeah, yeah. This is nothing. This is just an ordinary no. day for Barnaby. Exactly. So, I mean, so who should run the royal commission? Oh, I mean, Andrew O'Keefe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's he's a he's, he's got a law degree, and he knows gutters. Uh, who else? I mean, yeah. you know, you know who they should get. It'll oh, take yeah. a little bit of wangling, but it's this is important enough for yeah. for really the planet to make it happen. Yeah, Brett Kav- Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court judge. You know the guy, the oh, guy who likes no. a beer. Oh, Dom. Yeah, get him down here. Dom. He likes a beer. The yeah. only thing I know about him, apart from the, the whole thing that he needs yeah. to get away with, um, is that he loves a beer. Yeah, he, he, he does. That is Barnaby right. Joyce would yes. respect him. Yes, and the, the Royal Commission, as I understand it, don't generally involve beer in the courtroom. But I think no. in this scenario. Yes. How could you? How could a jury? How could a sober jury assess yeah. the situation? You, could, you, you want a tanked jury? You got to have it in the highest court, beer courtyard of the land. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> big, <laughs> big, <laughs> big like, at the right. Ivy or something. Yeah. yeah. But Charles, here's the thing: like you know the judicial system, right? Yeah. The, the theory is that you are assessed by a jury of your peers. And if anyone on that bench is not absolutely half cut or yeah. fully smashed, they're not Barnaby's <laughs> peers. They, they're exactly. in no position to assess what's no, going on. No, exactly. Royal commissions don't generally involve juries, but this one mm. should. And it should be like you're allowed to take the fifth beer. <laughs> That's right. You <laughs> take the fifth beer. Yeah. So the problem with Albo is I think Albo has gone away from the man, like with the yes. new suits and the slimmer mm. uh, and the sort of self control. Yes. Like Albo used to be post Hawk. I think the most beerable politi- politician. Yeah, like, totally. The person you'd. 
there was even beer named after him before Al, before Hawk. Yes. Albo had a beer named after him before Hawk did. Where's the beer loving Albo? This is the, if Albo simply comes out tomorrow. Yes. If he says in full support, in, in full support says, look, I've talked yeah. to Barnaby Joyce. Yes. What he did, uh, you know, my new partner, yeah. electoral partner. Yeah. What we're going to do deputy the next election? Pro- I'm, I've deputy, to deputy Prime Minister, Prime Minister Joyce. Barnaby Joyce. Yeah. Our policy is to buy every Australian a beer. Yes. You don't, don't worry about the stage three tax cuts. That's all fine. That's actually gone really well in the polls. I don't know whether you've seen yeah, that. Yeah, Australia no, loves that. Good. You say on top of that, on top of every that. Australian will yeah. get a uh, get a voucher. It can be a digital voucher. It Free can beer. From med, do it through Medicare. <laughs> bulk build beer. Yeah, bulk that's build beer. What, that's why you guys still got to pay the gap. Yeah, you got to yeah, pay yeah. a dollar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure people don't go crazy. Yeah. That's an election winning policy in this uh, country. Bulk build, build beer. beer. Bulk build beer. Can we get that commission? Can we actually commission that? I reckon between Labor and the National. <laughs> yeah, that, They'll have that the would be doable. Yeah, bulk build beer um, from your local. And for the teal to get the teals on side, would it have to be like bulk build craft beer Negronis? Yeah, or yeah Negronis. <laughs> um, yes, you can, you can have, yeah. you'd have a, some sort of uh, Aperol spritz. <laughs> I think would be the way that we go for the teals. But this is going to work. Can we? Okay. Can we get some sort of custom beer? It's like a Medicare beer. I think so. I think with a special label. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Why hasn't Barnaby Joyce got a beer named after him? Yes. Barnaby, <laughs> red faced. <laughs> red faced <laughs> lager. We need a beer named after the gutter event. The gutter. Yes, mm. it's the gutter. Gutter lager. Gutter lager. Yeah. What about a beetroot beer? Because you've, you've got all sorts yeah. of interesting blends going on. The sour beers. I've had mango beers and all. Who's done a beetroot beer? It's time. Bright red. Barnaby's yeah. beetroot beer. But I think, I think just out of fairness and equity, all beers should be. Available on. I know oh, that's true, yeah. but I mean, I mean, except maybe sort of like really bespoke, you know, sort of fancy stuff. Fancy yeah. stuff. No, that's you a high gap. That. High you, gap. You got to, you got to get private health insurance. Oh, for you, that. you know what you do with the Barnaby beer? Yeah. What you do is you would, um, you would include as well as the beer in the tinny. Mm. You'd include just some sort of. Uh, unnamed medication. Medication. So that when yeah. you fell over in the gutter, yeah. you're able to say, look, yeah. I was on medication. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what I was taking. It was It's, it's, it's an excuse beer <laughs> to get out of jail free. Well, I, I think we've solved every problem. Do we still need a Royal Commission? I, know, I, I think, think the, more should... you, the more you drink, the less you need, you, the less you care. Well, I think the thing is with the Royal Commission, you should still do it anyway because it allows you to requisition. Yeah, because you ne- definitely need the Royal Commission because you need to work out how the whole Medicare beer will work. That's true. Actually, yeah. that needs a lot of work. Um, well, someone's placed a plaque, I believe, at the scene of the planter <laughs> box. Someone's put a plaque. Someone else has left a can of beetroot on the site. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's... Well, maybe we should be have a national day of putting you. So it, it says here, that, so I'm not making this up. Someone apparently put a plaque, unless it's a bad Photoshop job. I don't know where it could no, be. No, that looks like that looks real. In memory of Barnaby Joyce being totally fuck ass drunk that time, 8th of Jan 2024. That's nice. Our gear is from Road. We're part of the Iconoclast Network. When you Bottoms get the, up. when you, when you get that bulk build beer, yeah. you'll know who to thank. <laughs>